which Spice Girl do you most relate to? Nick, um, I hate to admit it. No, I don't. I don't hate it at all. I am just not a Spice Girls fan. I have never really been into that poppy music. I would say I'm more of like a Pussy Riot fan. You know, um, I love also the indie rock scene with lots of the female artists. So right now I'm really loving Billie Eilish, but I can't say I know even the names of the Spice Girls. Sorry, Nick. Hi, Audrey, and welcome to the Kansas City Fringe. What I want to know as the head of visual arts is what is your vision for the future of visual arts in the Kansas City Fringe? The visual arts program. Hmm. Well, uh, for one, I, I think you've done so much great work, Sarah. So I hope we continue that forward. And I would love to add more mediums into that. Um, I would also love to have more public art, things outside of our venues, things taking place during the festival. I personally love installations and also performance art. So I hope in the next couple years, we can add those things into the visual arts program. Hey there, Audrey. You know what I really want to know? Your glasses, when you put them in the cabinet, do you put them right side up or upside down? And what is your reasoning for that? Diana, again, with these very important questions, I place my glasses right side up in the cupboard. And I know there's talk about that maybe dust gets in them, but I feel like I don't want to set them upside down, even though that counter space is uh, clean. I think it's because that's what my mom did. So I just kind of copied her style. What person has most inspired you to this point in your life? Who has inspired me the most? Wow, Cheryl, that's a difficult one. Um, I, I think in terms of creation, I might, if I had to put a name down, I guess I would say Julie Taymor. And part of the reason why I loved her, love her work so much is that she has really continued to grow and change throughout her career. And I think sometimes when artists get to a certain level, they um, make safe choices. And I think she never stopped making dangerous and unique choices. So I greatly appreciate her work. Also, though, I will say that I find inspiration every day. I mean, that's part of the reason why I love something like the Fringe Festival, where there's a lot of new work coming in, because sometimes... The new work, people are doing things uh, because they came up with the, the way to do them instead of copying off of something else. And I get inspired every time I see a show. I love to watch artists in their career and their growth. I love to go to museums, love to listen to music. I'm inspired every single day by nature. So um, I'm really excited to meet anyone and dig in and get to know all these artists here that are coming to our festival. Mm -hmm.